Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion for the Nintendo GameCube last episode. We started the game, and I told you I haven't posted in a long time. In this episode, we're going to use the pink key to go through this door real quick. With this really awkward sound. Just like that. There we go. There's... This is the first, like, main area of the game. Very large area. Alright. And... No, don't want to do that. See, so yeah, we can check the area here. Oh, no. That's that's the floor we just came from. This is the floor we're on. Now, there's a door all the way down there to my left. There's multiple hallways, everything. So, we're really expanding the area. So, the first thing I want to do is wiggle all these... Ah, bats. Yellow bats. Which have no hearts and you can kill automatically. Make all the, the vases spin. Where is everybody on the vase slash vase debate? I like vase, but vase, 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 vase. That's just me though. Okay, that's locked. These guys have no health whatsoever, so they're not a problem. All you have to do is aim up. They throw bombs at you. Don't want that. Uh, this is locked as well. This is also locked. Okay, we're getting, we're really making progress here. Nothing in there. Nothing in... Ah, gold bar. Never mind. There is something in there. I believe this is locked as well. Yes. Man. I sure am really making progress. Making progress. All right. Vase. Ah, coins. Just don't step on the mice. My coins. This is also locked. Good. This is also locked. This is also locked. And <laughs> occupied. Okay, so there's somebody in there. And this is not locked. Yay! Alright. Bathroom. Nothing in there. Oh, these guys are annoying as hell. These skinny purple bastards, they grab onto you like jockeys in Left 4 Dead, pretty much. Mine. That's what they remind me of. Alright. Two of them, and then the room lights up. The key appears. Looks like you run into a bit of a trouble there. Maybe you need more training. There are some ghosts who will try to grab and hold on to you because they're dickholes. Yeah, and all you have to do is just shake the control stick and you got them. So, key. Thank you. Rap music. And that opens up that room. Okay, the ballroom. Now, we can also bring this back. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a ghost here. Stay over that way. Make the bathtub shake. Wait, no. Bring that back. No. See, there's like an invisible plastic wall, it looks like. See, because he bang... Man, that's dumb. Okay, never mind. Can't get the light. That's all we can do in this room. For now, I believe. That door there is the door to the next area. Just like the door we just opened to come here. Don't want you guys. Oh, God. Oh. Okay, maybe these are the guys with bombs. Maybe they have no health either. All right, never mind. Don't need to worry about them. Ballroom. Let's get the money from the chandelier. Yeah, the little shy guy ghosts. They're so adorable and vicious because they have pitchforks. And they, all, and they sound like ducks. It's like, oh, no, you're trying to capture me. Quack, quack, quack. See, <laughs> listen to them. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. I feel like I need to be feeding them bread. Give me your mask. There we go. The masks that they wear remind me of... If anybody ever watched Yu-Gi-Oh! I can't remember which one it is. Lu uh, Umbra and Loomis, I believe? The team of duelists who fought... Who was it? I think... Yugi and Kaiba, I think, on the top of that building. And then the, the glass would fall if they lost. Or the glass would fall on whoever lost. Give me your mask. There we go. Okay, this is the last one. And the room should light up. Either that or I'll get the, the mini boss ghost. Give me you. Thank you. Okay, now the floors start to move, and I do get the mini boss. <laughs> a 
listen to them. I'm not sure what makes them vulnerable. Maybe they take a bow or something. Because this is a ballroom, so as you could imagine, they're dancers. No, nothing? See, there they are. Maybe I have to get behind them instead. Gotcha, bitch! Arr, yeah, it... It, uh... It applies for both of them. Not sure how that is. Maybe, maybe it's a metaphor for their love for each other. It's like they're so in love with each other that their hearts have become one. Isn't that a beautiful sentiment that I just kind of pulled out of my ass? Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, got him. One cycle. Good shit. Alright, so grab the pearls. Which can be anywhere in the room, pretty much. Is there anything in here? Gold bar. And chest. With a key. Which I believe is the key in... Look at that painting. Yeah, it's that right there. Look at that painting. It's like... No, don't want that. He's just staring at you intently. It's like, okay, I'm going to paint you. So sit there and stare at me for three hours, please. <laughs> Not to worry, good sir. Nothing in these boxes. Nothing up my sleeve. Okay, there's one. There's also a trick to this game where... You can point... Ow! Damn it! That's what that mini mushroom does. Son of a bitch. You can point your Game Boy Horror at any, um... Any mirror in the game and, like, use it to take a picture and then it will send you back to the foyer of the mansion, the very first room. Okay, there's you. Anything? No? Usually you should wait and get money from the room uh, until you get rid of all the ghosts. But considering how impatient I am, I don't care, so... Okay, there's that one. And there's that one! Urgh. You're red, but I don't care. I don't discriminate. Alright, so that's that room. And as you can see, the where it's supposed to pick up on in this room, you're supposed to look into the mirror, and you'll see there's a button against this wall. So you press the button... And the wall moves. Dun -dun 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 -dun. That's my favorite sound effect of the game. All right, so there's this this thing here. Pull it off the wall. Press the button. And it's cake. I lied, it's ghost cake. Who's there? Who dares disturb our sleep? Oh no, it's Luigi. Look guys, Luigi's finally here. See, now I'm very curious because if they're ghosts, then they shouldn't be able to be contained in a hole. You know what I mean? Like, they should be able to come through, and he almost throws up, it looks like. Are you okay? What the fuck just happened? I heard a bunch of commotion. I wondered where King Boo and his gang had gone. So they were hiding in the mansion all along. Why would they be hiding in there? They're ghosts. I can't do anything to them. Well, I guess I can. I have a magical vacuum on my back, but... I've been waiting for you, young Luigi. Your brother must have been taken by that gang of boos. Poor feller. Feller? Suku suku. Huka da huda da ba. Hon dodo. Yabba yabba. Hon dodo. If your aim is to save Mario, there's but one way to do it. Capture each boo and slowly weaken the group's power. But boozer, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Game Boy Horror. I called it the Boo Radar. Yeah, the Boo Radar. All right, so now your Game Boy Horror has been upgraded with the Boo Radar. Site, site. Hoin dodo. Luigi. Ulaka. And it shows that damn cussing every single time. And that's the pause menu. Oops. All right, so let's go in here. And now, as you can see on the bottom right on my Game Boy Horror, don't want that. I have that little... What do I have the key for? Do I have any keys? I have uh, that little blue light, as you can see. And now it's yellow. Yellow means there's a boo in the room. Red means you're, like, right next to said boo. So there's a boo in here somewhere. It's always in something. And it's a boo bomb. Ah! There's two boos, as far as I can remember, in each... Like, in the entire game that you can't capture... 
which would be the Boo Bomb and the Boo Ball. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but you cannot capture the Boo Bomb or the Boo Ball. And I am Boo La La, and the, the puns are just painful. That's another problem I have with this game. The puns that they make with the names of all the boos are just painful. You've already caught your first boo. I've been researching those guys. Well, these boos don't seem to like light much, that's for sure. Thank you. Not like most ghosts. Save. Okay, one of 50. Yay. I don't plan on getting them all. You don't have to get them all to beat the game. I'm just going to get as many as I see fit. Anything over here? Dun, dun, dun. Where's the damn boo? It's over here in the boxes? Okay. There's one. It's a boo ball. Son of a bitch. Yeah, get rid of the ball. Another one in here. Game boo. See? They're just horrible puns. And they... You don't necessarily have to capture them in each room. They will travel from room to room, even out in the hallways if they need to. Unbelievable. There's no stopping you, Luigi. Okay, now send me the boo. There you go. Okay, so there's two. Two out of 50. I'm already 25th of the way there, I think, right? Isn't that right? Fraction? <laughs> Math? Percentages? Oh, there's this guy. Yeah, this guy, I remember. All right, so you're going to see this floating candlestick. And this is another mini boss that you want to get. Oh, wait, but you can't get him, though, yet. I remember how you get him. All right, so, well, then which door do I open? That's locked. That's locked. That's still locked. Yes, I know. Actually, I'm afraid to leave because of all the booze out there. Are there still booze in this area? No, there's not. Let me in. Okay, never mind. Why ask me a question if I can't answer? All right, you're supposed to... I swear to you, there's a ghost. No, it's not how you get it? Oh, man. I, I thought that was it. Okay, never mind. I gotta find which room I can get into. It's none of these. All these are locked still. The one at the end of this hallway is locked because that's the way to the next area. I want to say you can get into the kitchen, but... Shut up. Ah, bomb. Okay. That's a fake room. Hmm. I think I'm stuck. Or do I need to go get more booze? I think I might need to get more booze. I think you have to get like five booze, maybe. And to do so, you have to backtrack into the other rooms that you've already been in. Meaning this room here, the one behind it, and then some of the rooms over there. Now this room's lit up. Oh, but there's still booze in here. Okay. Nothing in there. Over here. Over there. there we go. Okay, let's pull this off. Boo bomb. Ah! Son of a bitch. I hate that. Nothing in the corner. Still on the table? Really? Okay. Only 30. Bamboo. Ah, I get it. Okay, there's three. Yes. I know. Yowzer, you got another one. Un dodo. Un dodo dodo do un dodo. Un ya yabo yabo. Yabo yabo un dodo. You know what I mean? Alright, so there's another one in this room. It's probably the boo ball or something, which is BS. It's just a heart in there. But I could use that heart. Thank you. Anything, anything, anything? No? It says there's one in here. I believe it. Oh, there it is. Aha! 50. Bootha. Like, Bertha? I guess? I don't know. Give me your soul. There we go. Now, there might be... There might be one in the room to my left, I think. I'm not sure, but we're going to go find out. Yep, look at that. Nothing in there. Shoes. Only 30. Game Boo Advance. Ha ha ha. It, they're just painful, folks. Painful, painful puns. PPP. Okay, I got five. Now, can I get to my next area? My next room? 
I understand you're worried about your brother, young feller, but just take her easy. You have plenty of time still, so try to keep whatever. Why not go to the washroom and splash some water on your face? Okay. I know where that is. So does that just automatically become unlocked magically? By the power of magic? Hocus Pocus? In, 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 in the lot? Mario. Yeah, you can call for Mario. Mario. Which... I love the that's my favorite one. Mario. Mario. Which really does nothing. It's just there for flavor, more or less. The washroom is over here. Or not. Or no, I know which one. It's it's the uh, it's the bathroom. That's what he meant, washroom. That room literally over there is a washroom. At least that's what I would refer it as, a washroom because it has a lawn a laundromat. <laughs> A washer and a dryer in it, so washroom. By washroom, he means the bathroom, and there's gonna be what I suspected there to be, I believe. If not, then I'll be confused. No? I swear. Okay, I'm rather confused now. This might take, he said washroom, correct? Mm -hmm. And let me, let me just re-enter to confirm. Mm -hmm. Bathroom. Um, I'm going to cut. Hang on, I'm, until I find out what I'm supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's this room. Okay, washroom. Mm -hmm. All right, hello, Toad. Mm -hmm. I dropped a really important thing into the toilet. I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. I'll get it. I'll fish it out of the toilet for you. Jeez. All right, which magically turns the lights on. You make him happy, it turns the lights. Okay, key. I'll take it. <laughs> ha. I'll get it, don't worry. It's, oh, it's that room. Okay. Nothing in the sink. Nothing in there. I know I can, yeah, let's say. Okay, nothing in the cabinet. All right, so let's go back down there to that room, which I know what it is. Yay, I remember most of this game. Ah. This down here is the clairvoyance room. Right here. Let me in. Alright, so there's gonna be this person in the middle, which you can't see right now. Can't steal her crystal ball either, which I would love to do. Uh, there's a heart in there. I can go in here as well. And the door gets shut behind you. Zelda, the mirror room. Okay, the gimmick about this room, as you can see, is you cannot see the ghosts yourself. But you can see them in the mirror, and that's how you're supposed to be able to track them and therefore capture them. There's a heart in there. Give me your soul! Who are you going to call? Man, I can't believe that's my first reference to that in this whole LP. I am Steve Martin. Did you know Robin Williams? Uh, he named his daughter Zelda. Does, did you know that? Isn't that just awesome? That has nothing to do with anything, I know, but I just... I wanted to, to put it out there. That's just like my... I have so many stories from work that I can tell you. I will go ahead and tell you a few stories from work right now. My very, very first night... I work... I work nights, 11 to 7 a.m. My very first night, I'm there alone by myself. This, this group of guys come up to the front desk... And, oh yeah, I work at a hotel. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. But uh, this group of guys comes up to the front desk, and they are all high and drunk as hell. And they want me to call them a shuttle to go to the uh, the local casino. And they were like, I bet you smoke weed, don't you? He's like, you smoke weed. And I know they think that because I have, like, relatively long hair. And I'm like, no, I don't. I really don't. Ah, oh, the fire medallion. I need that. <laughs> I'm like, really? I, I don't, uh, I don't smoke weed. What have you found there? Let's take a look at that. It's a, it's a, it's a fire element metal. All right, so what this does basically is lets you, it lets you control the power of fire. The har It harnesses fire for you, which use, can be used to light candles, which would be to solve puzzles, and then also, uh, kill certain enemies. Boo ball. See, fire, and then you can spray it. Is there a ghost in here? It is, okay. 
Kung Boo, get it? Like Kung Fu? If I have to tell you all these references, then okay. So there's six. See, there's already six out of 50. Very short game. Yeah, so these guys came to the front desk, high as hell, and I called them a shuttle, and they came back like two hours later while I was setting out breakfast, and, you know, they all had the munchies. So, I mean, that, that was an experience. But the, the most interesting story I've had to date so far when it comes to my job, which I've only had for about a month or so, uh, there was a night where some guy came into the lobby at about a quarter to two in the morning. And there's a little mini fridge out in the lobby of our hotel with like milk and crap in it, like breakfast sandwiches and whatnot. There's a key up here. And uh, he asked if he could get a milk out of the fridge. So I said, yeah. And I went out there and I unlocked the fridge and I said, you know, take what you want. And then he, uh, he asked me if he could, if I could help him uh, on the computer because there's a computer in the lobby as well. And he was trying to access his email and was having problems, so I helped him get on his email, too. And this guy was drunk as hell. I don't know if I mentioned that, but he was drunk as hell. Ah, fire, fire, run away, run away. I love the sound this guy makes. He's, a, he's an adorable old man. All right, yeah, so this guy, drunk, like mid-40s, he had to be. And, you know, he, he I help him with everything. And then he starts, he starts showing me all these scars on his body that I didn't even ask to see. And he told me that he was from like Kalamazoo, Michigan about, you know, five or six times, which I never asked him about. And he started telling me about his daughter who I guess is like relatively my age and, you know, and then he, he starts talking to me. He's like, you know, you're, you're a good, you're a good person. You know, I, I bet your parents are real proud of you. You know, I wish I had a son like you, you know, all drunk and everything. And it was just the funniest thing. And then he gave me a hug, which was even... It, it, it wasn't like a wimpy hug. It was like, hey, I'm drunk. Come here. I need a friend. Like, good, solid, like, 10, 20-second hug. Which was just... Thankfully, the phone rang, like, right after that. So I had an excuse to get back behind the desk. But, I mean... I mean, things like that just happen, and it really kind of humbles you, too, because this random person just called you, like, a really good person, and it's something that you just kind of, you know, it's, you really appreciate. And I found a hat. It's been laundered recently. Yay. All right, so what's in the chest? What is in the chest? Davy Jones' heart? Stab the heart. Become captain. Live forever. That money. All right, there's a boo in here. Boo ball. I hate you, boo ball. There's a boo in the laundry. No. No. Son of a bitch. No, not there either. And the light? No. Oh, it's in there again? Boogie. Yeah, the room forward in front of us is fake. That's a fake door. And there's seven boos right there. See, look at that. I'm a pro. Save that. All right, so we can get to this room here. This is the washroom I was talking about. This and the one we were just in. I can get fire from this candle. Which I can use, I think, maybe? I don't know. How do I light this room up? Give me all your money. There's a heart in there. Uh, not much over here. I do know about the hole in the wall. Don't worry. For those of you who are like, oh, he's stupid. He doesn't know where it is. Um, you have to get rid of all the rats? Do I have to play exterminator or something? Yeah, see, there's a hole here. If you hit A, it'll suck you into the wall, which is hilarious. Just like that. <laughs> I love that. All right, there's bats everywhere. Ah! All right, what's in this large chest? A ghost. Oh, it's an ice ghost, too. This is the kind of ghost that you have to have fire to kill, or else you're just out of luck. Come here. And it's the same as, like, one of those regular purple ghosts that punch you. Money in this one. 
Anything in the chandelier? More money? Mo money. A young cow tipper? Yeah, the fire hurts him anyway. Like, if you could just sit there and, and just spray fire on him until he dies, but it's going to waste your fire, so I suggest you don't do that. Okay, this chest... This other chest with nothing in it. Love that. Gotta love it. Damn. Okay, so half the chests in this room were garbage. Oh, damn it. He's gonna reappear. No ghost ever runs away for good. Damn it. There we go. Okay, come on. As you can see, your, your fire meter is in the bottom of the screen right there. So you can see how much you have. Man, so the majority of the chests in this room were decoys and garbage, basically. I haven't gotten this over here. Oh, ha, never mind. You have to get them all. Nothing in that either? What's in here? Oh, money for days. I see. Emerald. There's also a sapphire. Oh, and a ruby. Boom, 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 boom. That's my favorite sound effect. Awesome. There's also a boo in here somewhere. And that's garbage because the money starts to disappear. Even though you're picking up... <laughs> boo bomb. Even though you're picking up money as it is. Is it in this? Where's that last boo? Mario. No, don't call for Mario. Hit the chest. Don't hump the chest. That's this one. Alright, legit boo. Gum boo. Like gum bee. Alright, so this room is pretty like isolated. I don't think that a boo can escape from this room. I'm not sure. I don't know. Well done. See there's eight. Boom boom boom. Mario. Mario. Alright, so Oops, no, don't do that. Um, I gotta look for that hole in the wall. Oh, there it is. And it'll take you right back out. Pants on the ground, pants on the ground. In this dark, dark room. Which I don't know how to remedy. There's gotta be something in here I'm missing. And no, it's not the mice. It, it basically tells you where the, the mouse hole is, considering the mice just keep coming from that side of the room. Do I have a key for any other room in the level? No? So I'm missing something in here. Is what I'm getting at. Um. Oh yeah, what happened to that one guy that I lit the candles for and he just... He just peaced out. You can get fire from this candle. I understand that. But I don't need fire. Even though I'm just gonna kinda... Let's light up the room, shall we? We have unlimited fire. I can just go get more right here. Okay, there's nothing in here I can really see that I need right now. This room is pretty much useless. Hmm. What to do next? There has to be something I'm missing when it comes to lighting up something with fire. I want to get in that room. Damn it. Nothing in here for me. Is it back here in the... In this room? Let's try to light the candles again. Because I... Well, let's see. Fortune teller's room. Clairvoyant, same thing. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I just snuffed the candles on our desk and then I lit them again, so... so you can see there's a shadow there. There's obviously, obviously a ghost there. Oh yeah, if you yeah, if you use that. That's right. Hello. Destiny chooses our paths. Hello. So huh, what is this object you have here? Show it please to Madame Clairvoya. Yeah, Mario's hat. It's so clean as if someone just washed it. Someone just washed it. Oh no. How dare someone be courteous enough to wash his hat, which I'm sure he never washes. He s sweats so much because he jumps a lot. 
The spirits come. Come, spirits of power. Come, spirits of sight. Show to me the awful things occurring here tonight, which advances the story somehow. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan. Use your darkling power to show all us all you could. I mean, can. So, rumble, rumble. I'm grumble, grumble, grumble. I see that your Mario lives. He's not in the spirit world, but not... Blah, 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 blah. So, there are actually four more... Um, like, articles of clothing of his that you have to go find and bring to her. And where the rest of them are, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I'm going to end things off here because I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. <laughs> oh, see, here's... Oh, okay. No, I know what I'm supposed to do. Hang on, we can wait a little bit longer. I have to follow him. I love this guy. Give me my coins back. Giggity. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to follow him into there, okay. So we're supposed to it's it's kinda like an escort. Just keep your keep your eye on him. I'm gonna go this way, then I go that way. You gotta keep up with him too. He's like he's sprinting. Oh man, don't stop me. Don't stop me now. There he is. Now come down here. There we go. Now what? Come here, mouse. Okay, so he like set himself on fire, I guess. Which is fine with me. I just want to capture him, you know? I feel like he should have a name like Hubert or... or even if they just called him like Butler or something. Like some really old name, like... Like, I, I don't know. I can't think of anything. Okay, grab the pearls, open the chest. Oh, I get a sapphire for him, too. Hey! All right, did that come from him or something else in the room? All right, so let's open the chest and end this episode. Key. Key to the kitchen. To the window. To the wall. No, it's to the, to the piano room. Okay, so on the next episode, we are going to... Uh, infiltrate the piano room. Peekaboo. Pikachu, Pikaboo. We're going to infiltrate the piano room and catch whoever's in there and then progress the story because this is a very short game. You got another one. Sukasuku. Okay, we saved. All right, so until then, I'm Broken Champion. Be careful. We're done here.